Network. TFNN Headline News Update. Hi everyone, Basil Chapman here. I am the host of the Tiger Technicians Hour, which you've just had, 12 o'clock uh, Eastern Time till 1 p.m. Uh, get ready, you're going to have uh, Steve Rhodes coming up straight after this, but I'm doing the uh, TFNN 1 p.m. update. Dow's up 237 to 27,347, made a new recovery high today, uh, helping the weekly chart look much, much better. Now, of course, the uh, Dow and the S&P are lagging. The, the QQQs, you see the S&P is also up quite strong. You're not as strong as the Dow, but it's up 13 points at 32.07, a new recovery high, not a new all-time high of 33.93.53. That'll be coming up by sometime uh, this summer, I hope. But in the meantime, it makes the support round about the 3,080 to 3,060 area very strong. If you look at the QQQ, which did on Friday make an all-time high, it's not doing that today. 240.30 was the high. Now we're at 239.62, a little bit off the high. And what happens over the next few days, because there's a lot of resistance just up here, we'll see if there's some kind of a pullback in these big, big caps, the leaders, and the smaller caps are going to come on strong. Look at the IWM. Russell 2000 up 2.81, up 100 at 152.99, way off the 170 all-time high. But this is very good in helping the weekly chart build even more strength. And if you look at gold, gold is jumping today. It's up 20 at 17.02. It's pulled back. It's underneath the rectangle support that I've been talking about for a little while. And that means that it's probably stuck in a range. Uh, it isn't bearish. It's just not acting very well. After it's a high-level consolidation, and that makes the 1680, 1650 support very important. And it's at 1702 right now. The dollar is trying to establish some kind of a tradable low. Um, it's struggling. It's got a one-to-one -to, -one to the downside. That could take it a little bit lower. But in the meantime, uh, it's going to be important based on the weekly chart whether it's able to climb higher. And if you look at this, look at the T, look at the weekly chart, the one in the middle. If you look at the uh, TLT, which are the bonds. The Lehman 20, doesn't that look very similar? And looks like T bonds, even though they're running quite nicely now, up 62 cents at 156.73. The 153, 200 period, sorry, the 150. 0.71, 200 period moving average in the uh, daily chart looks to me like it, it it might have to be tested if it's going to match the patterns that we've been seeing with this H pattern that breaks the support. So with that said, hope you can stay tuned for Steve Rhodes coming right up. Then you got Dave White. Then you got Tom O'Brien. Have a great day and hope to see you tomorrow. Hope to see you on my show at noon, the Tiger Technicians Hour. Have a great day. <music>